look, I, I got a friend in Australia. She's like 18. Uh, she does like the art for my board games. Uh, but she's never like negative and pessimistic towards me. You know what I mean? I don't like negative and pessimistic. My mom is negative and pessimistic towards me. I don't like that whole attitude. My friend in Australia and I can talk and like disagree about things. And she's again t like 22 years or 21 years younger than me. Uh, but it never becomes like a real fisticuff kind of argument. We could. We do frequently disagree about things. She's like an advisor, kind of, to like when I have game designs. And she says what she likes and what she doesn't like, and she's always there for me. Ideally, she is probably the type of chick I would date because she's studious and she's brave and she's not afraid to stand up to bad behavior. Uh, she says that she says cunt all the time. She's Australian, you know, the British colonies. The, in America, the word cunt is kind of faux pas, but in, like, the British countries, even saying faggot is really more acceptable in the British colonies, like, even Canada. It's more acceptable to call somebody that's, like, all up in your grill a faggot, uh, while at the same time being pro-LGBTQ. And in the United States, we got this self-righteous entitlement attitude on the left and the right, uh, the British crown colonies that are still under the British crown are, are, are more acceptable of foul language while also being more pro-helping people who are different. Which kind of gets into a whole debate with the multi multiculturalism in like uh, Scandinavia. Uh, where it's like they'll allow the Muslims to pretty much like get away with rape because it's like Sharia law. So there's a whole debate on what you should allow if it's against their religion. Personally, I would just outlaw all religion. You know, they say that like uh, like you, you get a lot of money from taxing religion. Well, if you just outlaw it completely while having a directly democratic society. I think that would be better off. Religion is poison. If you just, like, got rid of it completely, you wouldn't have the whole fucking, like, poisonous behavior from it. And you would save a lot of money. Taxing things, you're getting a little bit of money. But if you just outlaw it, that money would go to other places. And there would be more secular charities. Most religious people are greedy. And, and most, like... High religious people, like Joel Osteen and all the fucking evangelicals, are just greedy assholes. And they're hateful towards the gays, uh, and a lot of times towards the blacks and towards women. And they're completely hypocritical. There's this whole, like, uh, pro-money... Thing in the United States where it's like hoard the money and fuck everybody else so like I get along well with women most of my friends are women but it's like they're either married or have boyfriends like if you're Gen Z and you got a boyfriend just don't talk to me unless that dude is generation X or older I'm not into hearing your fucking shit if you say you have a boyfriend prove it I'm not here to just give you faith on things you know, and I'm not here for negative, pessimistic attitudes. I straight up told my mom I'm tired of the gaslighting, and I'm tired of the whole blanket statements, and I'm tired of the pessimistic attitudes. I'm gonna leave you blocked until you're not pessimistic towards me. Hey, mom, I wish I had a girlfriend. Hey, Lucas, it's probably not in the cards. Blocked. You know, pessimism to me is a mood killer. And I don't like swishy, in-your-face, wet noodle males. And brashy Hillary Clinton harpy females. Just go fuck yourselves, alright?